Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The elders of Israel and all the el leaders of the tribes 
the princess of the ancestral houses of the children of Israel, came to King Solomon in Jerusalem to bring up the Ark of the Lord's Covenant from the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before King Solomon during the festival in the month of Ethanim, the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priests took up the ark. They carried the ark of the Lord and the meeting tent with all the sacred vessels that were in the tent. The priests and Levites carried them. King Solomon and the entire community of Israel, present for the occasion, sacrificed before the ark, sheep and oxen, too many to number or count. The priests brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord to its place, beneath the wings of the cherubim in the sanctuary, the holy of holies of the temple. The cherubim had their wings spread out over the place of the ark, sheltering the ark and its poles from above. There was nothing in the ark but the two stone tablets which Moses had put there at Horeb when the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel at their departure from the land of Egypt. When the priests left the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of the Lord so that the priests could no longer minister because of the cloud, since the Lord's glory had filled the temple of the Lord. Then Solomon said, The Lord intends to dwell in the dark cloud. I have truly built you a princely house, a dwelling where you may abide forever. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jar. Let us enter his, into his dwelling. Let us worship at his footstool. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Advance, O Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your majesty. May your priests be clothed with justice. Let your faithful ones shout merrily for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, reject not the plea of your anointed. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard who he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak 
and as many as touched, it were, it were healed. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I once attended a Christmas party at our camp together with my other fellow priest. And while we were waiting for the party to begin, I noticed this lady who was sitting together with a fellow parang companion sa corner and thinking, no, parang kakukilala ko ito. And lo and behold, she was who I thought she was, no? She was this, um, well, she is still, no? This famous um, 80s rock, Pinoy rock superstar, no? Yung singer ng Asin. No? Tapos, no, I approach her, Ma'am, no? I'm a big fan, no? Pwede ho bang magpa-picture? <laughs> and lo and behold, no, naging fan mode ako noon. And when I posted it sa Facebook, sabi ng kapatid ko, sino yan, no? Hindi nila kilala, no? Pero alam nila yung music, no, na kinanta niya. Maybe if she will sing, no, she will recognize her, no? But for me, no, since I grow up enjoying her song, no, nagpa-picture ho talaga ako. At minsan, hindi ko madalas yung ginagawa, no? How are we to recognize those people we somehow very are familiar with? No? Sa Ibanghelyo, ganun din ang nangyari. When Jesus was going about no? crossing the lake of Genesaret, no? alighting from the boat, people immediately recognize Him. Uy! Si Jesus yan! Immediately, they round out the people, nagtawag sila ng tao, hindi, dali nyo na yung mga taong ipapa, kailangan, magpa, kailangan pagalingin, no? may mga may sakit. And they did. No? People immediately recognized him. He recognized, they recognized him as somehow a special healer. No? People scurried and at every village, town, countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplace and begged him that they might touch only the tassel in his cloak, and as many as touched, it were healed. Ganun kasikat si Jesus. Pag pumunta siya, marami siyang mga fans din. And people go to him for physical healing. However, I guess Jesus was not really intending for physical healing. It is more on spiritual recovery. They say that, you know, what is outside is a manifestation of what is inside. And for us, no, as we go on in our journey in faith, no, we, have, we may have lots of petitions also to Jesus asking Him to do a lot of things. No? Hindi ho ba? No? Dumululog tayo kay Jesus. Fan din tayo ni Jesus. Kaya nga tayo nandito eh, di ba? Pero sa anong paraan tayo lumalapit sa Kanya? Ano ba yung kalalimlalima ng ating pangangailangan kung bakit tayo dumudulog sa Kanya? Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel, the first one who moved in this encounter is not the sick person. Sino ang nauna? Si Jesus. In the encounter between God and man, ang Diyos palagi ang nauuna. Depende na lang sa atin kung napapansin natin siya. Depende na lang sa atin kung nare-recognize natin siya. At yung recognition natin depende sa pangangailangan natin. 
hopefully our need of Him is so deep. Our need of Him is not only of material need. No? Our need of Him is not only of physical, no? physical healing, but more on this profound what? Need to connect to the divine. Connect to the divine and connect to each other. Ito ho sanang iniimbitahan kong pagnilayan natin ngayon. Si Jesus ang nauuna palagi dito sa encounter na ito. No? Siya ay maglalayag crossing from sea to sea no? and hopefully when He alight the boat para tayong mga fans. Uy, si Jesus yun. Pupunta ako sa Kanya. Na-attract ako sa Kanya. In this encounter, my dear brothers and sisters, God would always give us the leeway no? and ask us, ano ang kailangan mo sa akin? Hindi siya yung magical person na Ah, ito ang kailangan mo. Ito ang, kailang, ito ang dapat na gawin mo. No. Remember one of the encounters of Jesus' healing? A man was shouting, Jesus, son of, the, son of David, son of David, no? have mercy on me. Tapos pinalapit niya yung tao. Alam niya na, bulag. Pero tinanong pa rin niya, What do you want me to do for you? You see? In this encounter, my dear brothers and sisters, no? God coming, making Himself available, but then He still gives us the freedom to choose and say, Ano ang nais mong gawin ko para sa iyo? Sana ho ang sagot natin, Lord, let me love you more dearly. Lord, let me follow you more closely. And Lord, let me know you more clearly. So that in my discipleship, I may be closer to you in my journey here on earth. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father who wants everyone to be healed. He does not reject those who come to Him in need. In every prayer, we all say, Divine Healer, be merciful to all. Divine Healer, be merciful to all. That as a church, we may not close our hearts to the needs of others, but share God's love with everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, healer be, be merciful, merciful to all. To all that we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for those who are left out by society, including the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine healer, healer, be merciful, merciful to all. all, that we as a community may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all, that those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all, that the faithful departed may have eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all, Almighty Father, hear our prayers and make our hearts ready to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may be that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, host, Heaven and, Heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say but the word, and, say my, the soul word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and in the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.